All right, can you guys hear me? All right, uh, so after the last uh, comedy show that I did, my boss pulled me in and he's like, uh, hey Dave, it's not a good idea for Phil Grace to be doing uh, stand-up, being the clown show for younger soldiers. I've been in the Army since 1991, so I'm sitting there going, maybe this guy, this uh, colonel, full gold colonel, is missing the point that uh, it really should be all about taking care of the soldiers. So... Uh, after the counseling session, he writes up on me, I, I leave out of there, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm pretty pretty upset. Now, when I first got here, soldiers would uh, kind of fear me a little bit. They'd look at me, and they'd, they'd like snap to attention. They'd be like, good morning, sir, give me the greeting of the day. Now, I'm a hardened combat veteran, not this Kuwait shit. I've, I've been in Pakistan, fucking Afghanistan, Iraq, and I've got more time deployed in shitty armpit locations in the world than most soldiers have in the Army. Now, uh, I think I earned the, the salute of soldiers, all right? But now, motherfuckers look at me, and they don't salute me. They're like, hey, Maple Bar, give me high fives and shit. So, I'm like, fuck it. Hey, you know, give a high five back. Now, now since, uh, since I've been in the Army for over 20 years, technology's changed a lot. I've, I've seen a lot of shit in my 20 years. Now, when I first came in, we had AT&T calling cards paying like 30 cents a minute to talk to your girl, all right? And it was horrible. And if you wanted to, like, uh, stay in contact with photos and shit, you take a picture, and then you take it down, get the film developed, and then mail it. And then two and a half weeks later, they would see it, and then they'd be like, oh, that's a really good picture, and they mail it back. Well, now with technology, I take my smartphone, video record me doing some fucking jokes and then post it up on Facebook right then. Now this has some drawbacks, all right, because my wife watches what goes on in my Facebook, all right, so she was like, hey, you look like you, you gained a little bit of weight, and I'm like, what the fuck are you micromanaging my caloric intake for? I'm fucking, I'm in Kuwait, but she does, she micromanages my shit, she's like, what are you eating? And I go, well, I eat a, a tuna wrap with two vegetables, four ounces of vegetables and water, and that's it. And she's like, what's that bullshit on your uh, Facebook about the maple bars? You know, interrogating me. And I'm like, hey, that was a one-time event. I'm, I'm done with it. She said, you need it. My, my wife's a personal trainer. She's fit, all right? So there's always, you know, the yin and yang. She's on one side of the spectrum, I'm on the other. So she's like, uh, you need to cut out the, the wheat wrap. And I go, fuck, if I have to cut out the wheat wrap in my, in my tuna sandwich, I got bigger problems than my weight. You know, serious. And so we get in an argument, you know, and I knew I, I don't like to argue with my wife because she's going to win, you know, every time. It doesn't matter. But I'm like, shit, I don't want to do that. She's increased, your, increased the number of times you eat a day. I'm, I'm full all the time right now, I tell her. So now I'm not even eating the wheat wraps, man. I eat the chicken breast. I cut off three ounces and I eat it, and then three ounces. And so... And it's, uh, but every now and then I'll have a five maple bar day, you know. <laughs> she ain't here. That's why I can't wait, because you ain't here, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, we'll talk. Fuck, you ain't here, I'm going to eat maple bars. That's what I do. All right, so, so anyway, uh, technology with all the good, all the good that it brings, it also has some uh, downsides. I just want to share a couple of these real quick and then get off. Um... You have, to, you have to be 10% smarter than the shit you're working with. I mean, the same thing in the Army, but it's really true with technology today. All right, that being the case, my buddy got a new Denali, and apparently you can take your smartphone in and they can sync this shit to your truck, which sounds like a good idea, unless you're a cheater. <laughs> so my buddy goes out and he buys a new Denali. He's got a smartphone, and the dealer's like, hey, I'll take, I'll take this, I'll sync it to your car. When people call, you can just hand free them, and, and he's like, oh, okay, great. Sounds like a good idea. Until he's rolling down the strip with his girl, passenger seat. And all of a sudden it brings, he sees on the caller ID, caller ID, cupcake. He's like, oh, well, shit. He fucking shut it off real quick. Sorry, Ty, I, I, I could talk and uh, resist. So I sh he shuts it off real quick, and uh, next thing you know, he doesn't realize that this technology not only will hands-free, but it'll read your fucking text messages for you. <laughs> so homegirl texts him back. She's like, hey, I can't wait till we hook up and you get rid of that heavy bitch and all this. And he's like, he can't figure out how to shut the fucking, uh, the 
talk jack shit on. He's like, fuck, how do I do it? You know, so he almost gets in a car accident there. Now, some other things have happened uh, with, with Facebook. I think it's great. I can, instead of doing that whole process of taking a picture and mailing it and all that, I can take a photo, post it on Facebook, and then 300 people that don't give a fuck about me can look at it. All right? But on the downside... You can, uh, you know, I have to read all these fucking farm bill requests and all this stupid shit. Like you guys are, so I delete those people real quick. But that being said, my grandma's also on my Facebook. So that for, that, that uh, poses a problem. My buddy's like, you know what you should do? You should do a joke about why you don't make drugs. And I'm like, like the time that I smoked pot and took a fucking uh, Viagra and I was too lazy to do anything about this hard on that felt like I was in junior high. And then all of a sudden, about five seconds later, my grandma likes something on my page. And I'm like, fuck, I forgot my grandma reads my Facebook. So then I was like, grandma, I'm in the army. So we don't uh, uh, masturbate. You know, so she's like, uh, <laughs> so she like uh, but anyway, the other thing, uh, real quick about it that uh, is kind of crummy. Is uh, this bitch calls herself going, hey, you know what? Uh, when are you going to the doctor? And I was like, for what? I'm fine. You know, and she's like, to have that baby. On Facebook, this is what my great grandmother, 99 years old, is posted on my Facebook page for all my friends to laugh at and clown me on. So I'm like, man, that's pretty messed up. Now, the last thing I want to share a downside about Facebook is uh, so my wife gets on there and she's like, Inspector Gadget with this shit. She's like, hey, who's, who's that little skinny bitch in the picture? <laughs> and I'm like, that's the, the new 